So the idea here is that you want to keep your bass note going no matter what. Hey, I'm Jared. That's me teaching a guitar lesson. That's what I do. I've been teaching guitar for almost 20 years, and these days I mainly do it through making videos and putting them online. Exactly 100 weeks ago, I committed to posting a weekly lesson video every Tuesday, no matter what. So this video you're watching right now is my 100th lesson video in a row. In most of those videos, there has been a unicycle in the background while I'm teaching. And I've received a lot of comments requesting that I write it in a video. So to celebrate 100 lesson videos 100 weeks in a row, I'm going to take you along for my typical post-lesson filming unicycle practice routine. Oh, and yes, it does involve playing the guitar while riding the unicycle. So that should do it for this lesson. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy practicing. All right. I think that was pretty good. Unicycling was my first passion before I started playing guitar. And really, I wouldn't at all be the guitarist or the teacher that I am today if it wasn't for the unicycle. Learning to ride this thing when I was five years old was where I fell in love with the experience of practicing. Practicing anything, I just love the idea of it. Taking something you can't do and working on it until you can. And failing at it a bunch along the way. On the unicycle, the way people typically start is by riding along a fence at first, then trying to push off from the fence and measure how far you can go. The first time you might make it one foot, maybe then two feet after that, then you might make it five feet, then 10, and eventually you're just riding and not falling. And because that feels so amazing, it's natural to think, well, what's the next thing to work on? What else can I try to do? For me, that experience of what it felt like to just glide across the pavement for the first time without losing balance, without falling, is something that I still think about every time I'm practicing anything new or anything challenging. I know I'm trying to break through to that same feeling. Falling in love with practicing is about craving something that's challenging. That's what practicing is. That's how it's different than playing. If you get a taste for real practicing, that feeling of wanting to be challenged, not only does improvement skyrocket, it happens almost automatically because it's not about needing willpower anymore. So the first thing I do when I get out there is I'll practice through the top three pentatonic scale patterns. These break up the scale, which help my soloing sound more like melodies and less like playing up and down scales when I'm improvising. By the way, I have a free download of these exact patterns that you can get as a PDF. Just click on the link in the description to get it or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash three patterns. That's number three patterns. After that, I work on a few unicycle tricks like going backwards, idling with one foot. We call this rocking. Then I'll try riding with one foot, which is pretty hard. This one's called doing bunny hops. And my favorite, because it's the hardest, wheel walking. 
So that's my unicycle routine for now. Let me know in the comments, what's something you can't do that you want to be able to do? What are you practicing? What should you be practicing? What do you want to be practicing? Fall in love with the challenge of slowly working on that. So working on it just feels like scratching an itch that you have. And before you know it, you'll be able to do that thing that you were not able to do before. So what is it for you? And did you know that writing a goal down, whether it's in the comments or in your journal, makes it way more likely to happen. Thanks for all the support over the past 100 guitar lesson videos on this channel. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing my videos with your guitar playing friends. And if you know someone that might appreciate a little boost in their practicing motivation, please send them this video. Here's to another 100 lesson videos, and here's to your learning, your progress, and your love of practicing. Don't forget to download that Scale Patterns PDF. It's totally free. Oh, and when this channel hits 100,000 subscribers, that might seem a ways off right now, but when it gets there, I will do a full lesson video on the unicycle, teaching real, practical, useful, hands-on guitar lesson material while on the unicycle the whole time. Until then though, I will see you week after week on this channel with new lesson videos, and I will see you next week where I'll be talking about playing classical guitar without fingernails. Hey. Hey, I saw you called, yeah. Ooh, tonight? I don't think so, man. I... Nah, I gotta stay home and practice. Mm -hmm.